All right, here we are inside Leadworks VR. We're using Open VR and the HTC Vive, but this should wor actually work with uh, both the Vive and the Oculus Rift, as well as the Samsung Gear. You can see my base stations uh, up there floating in the air. Uh, kind of cool that they are sort of look like they're mounted to the brick walls. Um, and if I can walk over here without knocking into my coffee table, which I did not move out of the center of the room, I'll pick up just one controller. And there he is. Uh, so we've got the tracking working on the headset, on the controllers, on the base stations, and anything else we introduce into this scene. Um, the tracking is actually faster if I'm not recording the video, of course, but it's doing just fine here. And we're running at a steady 90 frames per second with Leadworks. There's still some optimizations I can make, but the performance on this is fantastic. And, uh, you know, it's funny, um, I didn't plan this, of course, but um, Leadworks is basically perfect for VR because Leadworks is a high performance C++ based game engine. And that's exactly what you need for virtual reality. Um, you need that performance because uh, if you don't have that constant frame, 90 frames per second, then it tends to, uh, it makes you sick to your stomach. And that's pretty much the worst thing we want, whether we're building a game or an engineering tool or a visualization tool. Uh, we want to maintain that steady frame rate so that we have this immersion that makes us feel like we're actually in this virtual world, which I am feeling right now with this creepy ass spider monkey guy in front of me. Fuck you, dude. He doesn't, I know he can't hurt me, but it's kind of terrifying and I can't wait to see what you guys create when, uh, uh, when you bring things like this to life. God, things ugly. So, yeah, um, basically with Leadworks, we have some huge, huge advantages with the performance because um, with C++, if you're using pure C++, which is what I recommend with the prof professional edition, um, you're not going to have any lag spikes. So we don't, we're not going to, you know, our, our frame isn't going to freeze up every 30 seconds while the garbage collection runs because there is no garbage to collect. There's no garbage collection. Uh, so we're just running at a constant frame rate. Not only that, but C++ gives you overall a better frame rate because it's the fastest way you can program. Um, so for that reason, I actually recommend C++ over Lua for any serious virtual reality. And of course, you know, when you compare it to languages like C Sharp and Java, you know, those languages just cannot keep up with the speed of C++. So... You know, Leadworks, it's not the best at everything. If you want to make an Angry Birds game with some weird Facebook plugin or something, Leadworks isn't the game engine you should use. But when it comes to virtual reality, this is exactly what Leadworks was built to do. And it just excels at it. Um, this implementation I have, it's still a little bit rough. Um, you can see some, some objects will pop out of view in the corner, in the periphery of your vision. That's just because I haven't, uh, I'm not, I don't have a, an exact match between the, uh, the projection matrix of the Vive and what I'm using for calling yet. That's no, that'll be easy to fix. Um, there's still a major, major optimization I can do to make this even faster. And that's, I'm going to use uh, geometry shaders to render both passes, both eyes in a single pass. Uh, so we'll basically be doubling the speed of the renderer, roughly. I'll be interested to see what the actual numbers turn out to be, but I think we'll get like a 70% improvement in performance, something like that. And we're already doing just fine at 90, a steady 90 frames per second. And based on you know how the renderer is designed, I know we could have 10 times as much geometry in here. We could have 10 times as many lights, and it would still be no problem. So this is a very first pass of Leadworks with OpenVR using an HTC Vive right now, and it is fantastic. I can't wait to see what you guys are able to create with this. I can't wait to see the terrifying, horrific, 
uh, games and experiences that I get to play with this. And uh, I hope none of it is too scary for me because I can, my, my imagination is running wild with Spider Monkey here. I can just imagine. I mean, if he was alive and if I just had a gun or a sword or something to kill him with, um, I could just imagine how terrifying this would be. I and mean, this is a nice, bright, brightly lit room. Uh, there's no dark hallways to look down, but uh, I know I know the horrors of, are coming, and I'm loving uh, the idea of looking forward to that. So, Leadworks VR, man. Here we are. It's amazing to see this. Uh, this is the proto. This is the technology that I uh, demoed, you know, a couple of years ago. At Valve headquarters, and it's just amazing to see this in the office. Uh, just being able to walk around with this. All right, I'll have a demo out for you guys soon, and you'll be able to play with this uh, technology yourself soon. So, looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Oh, oh, oh spider monkey! Fuck you.